I'm glad you could join us. Uh, Amanda Heyer is with us right now, and she's the executive director of Raphael House in San Francisco. Nice to see you, Amanda. It's good to see you, too. Uh, and uh, you have a big uh, event coming up pretty soon, but give us a little background on the Raphael House itself. Sure. Raphael House is actually the first um, family homeless shelter in Northern California. Forty years ago this year, we started um, really to begin our legacy of um, focusing on the family bond as a key component in the process of healing from family homelessness. Um, and we've continued that for the last 40 years. Um, in the past 40 years, we've served over 19,000 children and their families by providing shelter as well as comprehensive services for the issues underlying homelessness, such as chronic poverty, underemployment, and also parent and child education. Okay. Uh, do you do a follow-up? In other words, uh, if they come through, some of the children come through, and then what happens after that? Once? We do. And so over the last 10 years, we realized that the, the need didn't just stop at shelter, and so that's why we developed right. our aftercare program. And so we serve um, up to 300 families just through our aftercare program each year for about a two- to five-year um, period. Right. And really the idea there is that we're providing the services that they need to um, maintain long-term stability. Now, how do you maintain that? Do they contact you? Do you yeah. call them? I mean, how how, do, how does that work? Well, we always say that aftercare begins before a family leaves shelter. So we're engaging in them in our services um, before yeah. they even leave our shelter program. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the economy has been in the tank for a number of years now. Has that affected uh, the number of people who come into the house? It has had a huge impact. We, in San Francisco alone, the rate of family homelessness has increased by 22% in the last two years. Yeah. Um, nationally, children and their parents make up the fastest growing segment of, of homelessness for our nation. Okay, the definition of homelessness, when you hear that, you, you see, you picture a family of four or five walking down the street without a place to stay. Right. What, what is the actual fact about that? I mean, where, do, where do these folks go who yeah. have lost their home or have lost their jobs? A lot of them are actually kind of hidden from society because they're doubling up in other people's homes. Sometimes they're sleeping in their cars or they're cycling through some of the city's shelter programs. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay, now the event you have coming up, the gala. Yes. And I assume the gala is for the right reasons, it not is, just for fun. <laughs> it is for all the right yeah. reasons. Yeah. Um, I might add that one of the, th the things that makes us most unique in, in, in terms of the spectrum of nonprofits in the city is that we're 100% privately funded. So every dollar we raise really goes to the bottom line in terms of promoting these programs for families. Um, and so our gala actually raises up to 15% of our budget each year. It's a lot. It, it's huge. And it's yeah. going to be on Friday, May 11th at the fabulous Four Seasons Hotel. I'm going to start 15th annual gala. It's called One Home, Many Hearts. Okay. So. What happens when you go there? Oh, you have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> it's an amazing party. Um, really, the focus is on featuring Raphael House's programs, but also providing an opportunity for people to contribute at a really deep level. We have a silent auction and a live auction. We have live entertainment, great food. Um, it usually has about 300 people in attendance. Uh -huh. And the people who attend that, are, these are people who I assume are very involved in the Raphael yes. House. I mean, they've been contributing they're involved in what goes on there. Is Very right? much so. So, you know, obviously we have huge board attendance, um, uh, community-wide attendance um, from people who have been long-standing loyal donors, but it's also a vehicle for us to introduce new people to our community and mm -hmm. show them sort of the impact of our mission. Yeah, there's a lot of competition these days for there people is. who need money. Yes. And are you finding it that to be a problem in some ways? You, you get know, lost in the whole mass of people who yeah, you know, we, I think because of our unique funding structure, we stand out. And I know that most of the private foundations that fund us really believe in that model that uh -huh. we have. And so we really haven't seen much of a fluctuation over the past few good, years. Good. While though some of our funding has sort of been flat, yeah. we haven't had to cut program or do any kind of major changing in terms of um, trying to sustain. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, Amanda, nice to have you here. Amanda hey. Heyer, and she's executive director of Raphael House in San Francisco. May 11th is the event. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.